Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I'm going to show you what I come across. Uh, I should have made a video on this before for everyone to see. And it has to do with reducing the, the size of the hive instead of increasing it. And sometimes it's necessary, and, and let me show you why. Okay, I had a, a five frame nuke. Okay, they, they lost their queen for, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, but they lost their queen and the population was decreasing and a lot of those frames were being uncovered. Now, if you'd left it, left it like that for very long, what would happen is those frames would, and excuse the mess here, I know it's been a day or two since I mowed. Here's what will happen. Here's an example in another hive. Okay, you can see what most of you know what that is. It's wax moth damage. So what happens, uh, if you have a nice strong colony, don't you're not going to have to worry about hive beetles and wax moth because the population will keep it uh, under control, no problem. But what happens is when the population decreases, and those bees aren't there to cover up those frames, those wax moths will come in and they will take over those frames and there's little your bees can do about it. And uh, really nothing you can do about it at that time once they get it. Uh, if you ever look through my yard sometime, you'll notice a few frames sitting out. Some of them got wax moths, there's not many of those. And some of them are just good. They're just, they're good frames, nothing wrong with. They're drawn out, <clears throat> ready to be used. Just like these right here. I just pulled these frames out. They're good frames, nothing wrong with them. It's got a little bit of honey in it, maybe a little bit of pollen. And, and you gotta be careful, you know, don't start a robin situation. But what I do, I'll put these in a secure location away, and, and the bees will rob it out, which is not going to hurt anything. It won't hurt a thing. But while I'm going through the yard, if I'm coming across a colony that could use these frames, and their population is building up, and they still have undrawn drawn comb, well, I'll drop these in there and help them out. But meantime, I'm pulling them out of the ones that can't use them, because you're going to lose these frames. If you don't so when you come across a five frame new for example and you got a lot of bees on two frames and the rest of them are just kind of uh, two or three bees here and there uh, get ready wax moths are gonna come in and they're gonna take that wax and they're gonna run your colony out so that's how they end up getting it that's how they end up getting your your bees the wax moths and the hive beetles and such and uh, uh, every hive has wax has high beetles and wax moths. They all have them. It's just the bees take care of them and they keep them carried out. They keep them run out. But when it's more than they can handle, it, it, they take over. So, so that's what I'm doing. I'll put these frames to the side somewhere. And what I did, this little hive here, it had one, one queen cell. One queen cell on it. And then it had another frame they had a little bit of honey and pollen on top of it. So that's what I put back in this two frame, uh, decreased it to a two frame. So all these bees right here, their location is to go right here. And sometimes you can build them up a little ramp like that and smoke it, but they'll go. They'll start marching here in a second. You can blow a little smoke on, but they will, they'll go anyway. This will help some of the, the young nurse bees that are not flying when you run that little ramp up like that blow a little bit of smoke get them started they'll start following the leader next thing you know they're all in that t-frame now what will happen that t-frame will get packed out and i'll check within a week and make sure that that queen cell's hatched and make sure she starts laying it was a capped queen cell and it, it looked very thin on the end like it was getting ready to hatch. So 
that's all you can do is wait. And for some reason it doesn't, uh, well, you can always uh, drop you in another queen or find you a virgin queen. Uh, I had a hive that just had uh, some queen cells. And I was looking around trying to, because usually when you see them just hatched and you got some of their hatch, some of their not, well, that also means you probably got some running around the hive there chasing each other down until they kill each other. A lot of times you get in there just the right timing, you can hand pick those little queens out and introduce them into another colony. But, and that works very well too. But anyway, just a little tip from barnyard bees. Uh, your, your unintended wax, beware. That's how they get it. It's not just by random they come in and got your hive. Something happened, something, your hive either swarmed, the queen got uh, killed, bumped, something. They had to remake a queen, they failed to do it. She didn't come back on the, the mating flight and then the population started decreasing. Uh, you had less and less bees, less and less bees. Next thing you know, wax moths are in there and no more colony. That's how it happens. It's as simple as that. So just a little tip from barnyard bees. That the key is make your regular inspections. Keep on top of this stuff. When you see things happening, do something about it. Well, that's about it. I'll quit talking. Don't forget, folks, please click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.